Okay guys, in this video we're gonna cover cardiac tamponade. Cardiac tamponade is a rare condition, fewer than 200,000 US cases per year. It's uh, usually caused by a rupture of aortic aneurysm or by some sort of trauma to the chest, causing a rupture of blood vessels, such as a gunshot wound, stab wound, or by the impact of the steering wheel in a car crash. It is a medical emergency and can be fatal. So let's take a look at why cardiac tamponade needs immediate medical attention. So here you have the heart, you have the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. And here you have the sac surrounding the heart, known as the pericardium, which usually contains low fluid. What happens in cardiac tamponade is the blood gets into the pericardium and the collecting fluid around the heart puts pressure on the heart and keeps it from properly filling. So you end up with a small area in the chambers of the heart. So the heart is not able to stretch out properly so less blood is able to get pumped out from the heart causing a dangerous drop in blood pressure. The person will also get tachycardic because the heart will start to beat faster to try to compensate for the decreased output. When discussing the signs and symptoms of cardiac tamponade, you'll keep hearing Beck's triad over and over again. So what is Beck's triad? It's the three medical signs that present with acute cardiac tamponade. So let's take a look at them. So since the heart is not properly filling due to the pressure on the heart, less blood gets pumped out from the heart and cause a huge drop in blood pressure. So you will see hypotension. And since less blood is able to get into the heart, you'll get a backup of venous blood, which will cause distended neck veins. And the final symptom of Beck's triad is when you auscultate the heart sounds, they will sound muffled, which is uh, caused by all this fluid buildup in the pericardium, making the heart sounds distant. Other symptoms that may present, as we discussed earlier, are tachycardia, since the heart is trying to compensate for the decreased output. You also see shortness of breath, and lightheadedness. Emergency treatment is required. Usually uh, they'll perform a treatment known as pericardial synthesis, which is a needle or a small tube used to drain excess fluid. So let's take a look at pericardial synthesis. So here you have cardiac tamponade. You'll insert the needle guided by ultrasound and aspirate all the excess fluid. However, they will require surgery, so the patient will be sent to the OR. Okay, that's all for cardiac tamponade. So the key things to remember is, what is cardiac tamponade? It's when blood gets into the pericardium and puts pressure on the heart and keeps it from properly filling. Signs and symptoms, you wanna make sure you remember Beck's triad, which is hypotension, JVD, or distended neck veins, and muffled heart sounds. Treatment will be pericardial synthesis and ultimately OR to fix the cause of cardiac tamponade.